and welcome to Storytime Stars, brought to you by Springfield Public Schools. My name is Haley Durant, and I'm coming to you from Frederick Harris Elementary School. Today, I get to read the story to you, A Boy Named Isamu, by James Yang. This is a story about the artist Isamu as a young boy and how he takes inspiration from the world around him. If you are a boy named Isamu, at the market with your mother, it can be a crowded and noisy place. Maybe there's a quiet space that feels more like you. Look how busy that market is. It's crazy. Children are playing loudly. You keep walking. When it is quiet, you wonder, what kind of wood is this? How does fruit get its color? Why does cloth feel soft? And who made this path with stones? Paper lanterns are like another world, far away from home. How can light feel so welcoming? In the forest, the trees tower over you as you hear the crunch of the twigs under your feet. The leaves are so perfect, they must have been waiting just for you. You toss grass in the air and you watch as the blades scatter in different directions. And you close your eyes and imagine the grass coming back to you. If you are Isamu, stones are the most special of all. Time has carved each stone to be so different. How can they be so heavy? Would they float if they had no weight? They can be smooth or rough. You press your ear up against the stone. What is it saying? This is my favorite picture, a stone with a face on it. At the beach, your stick makes a shh sound in the sand. The ocean greets you with its quiet rumble. You feel like the only person in the world world. If you are Isamu, you find a secret place so you can look at the ocean and see all the shapes of things. You see birds that look like stones and stones that look like birds. Bamboo can be many things, but you know it's really only meant for playing like a flute. <gasps> Isamu, there you are. Your mother asks about your day. You think about how you were alone, but not lonely. You take one more look at the sticks and the pebbles, shells and bamboo who were waiting for you. The forest and the beach were like friends, giving you a gift. If you are Isamu, you wish every day could be this big. The end. So like I said, this story is about the artist Isamu and his inspiration from the world around us. So take some time, chat with your loved ones and your friends, about how beautiful the world is, and more importantly, how the world is beautiful with you. Thank you so much for joining me for Storytime Stars today. I can't wait to read to you again.